What's up squad? My name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I show you how to find all of the unique weapons in Skyrim. And in this episode I'll be showing you how to get the unique glass bow of the Stag Prince. This bow is probably one of the most well hidden secret unique weapons in Skyrim just because of how hard it is to find and you'll see what I mean in a moment but the bow itself is actually pretty epic and I will tell you why but first let me show you guys how to actually get it and guys you will need the Dragonborn downloadable content if you're on the old original Skyrim however if you have Skyrim special edition you will already have it as part of the game so there's no need to worry the bow is located on the island of Solfai, well, and if you've not visited this island before, well, just check out my tutorial on how to get here. It's located in the description below and it's very easy, you can do it as soon as you start the game, at any level. And indeed, this is one of the best bows to get early on, and I'll explain why in a moment. Once you are here though guys, you'll find that the island has its very own location map to explore. So you're going to want to head out into the wilderness to find the Ramshackle Trading Post, and that's located northeast from Ravenrock, where you'll first dock at the island. But most importantly, guys, you must only come here to this location between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m. Only then will you discover this secret merchant that can be found here. This merchant is rather buggy, so I suggest what you should do is just wait in Ravenrock until 12 p.m. And as soon as it gets to 12 p.m. or after, you're just going to go onto your map and fast travel to the Ramshackle Trading Post. And then he should appear for you. If you were to just wait at the Ramshackle Trading Post, the merchant sometimes just won't show up. As I said, it can be quite buggy. But when you do arrive, you should find the secret merchant, Phallus Sylvain, the most annoying trader in all of Skyrim. Now the reason why this trader is so annoying is that he has the unique rare bow called the Bow of the Stag Prince. But he will not sell it to you. Oh no! Phallus knows he's got a unique weapon. So you will actually find that he's got the unique bow equipped all of the time. So what this means guys is that it will not appear in the list of items that he's selling to you. So you can't buy it. And to answer that question guys, I know what you're thinking. Nope, ways. we cannot kill him either. Phallus the Merchant actually counts as an essential character. So he is in fact invincible. So ESO, if he will not sell us the bow and we cannot kill him for it, how do we get that unique bow? Well, my friends, let me show you some Skyrim trickery. There are two methods we can use to actually get this bow for ourselves. Method one. For this one, you'll require the pickpocket skill perk, Misdirection, which is just here in the skill tree. The Misdirection perk will allow you to pickpocket items that people have equipped. And please do save the game before you attempt this, guys. Then if it goes wrong, you can just reload your save. But now with this perk, you'll be able to pickpocket the bow from Phalus. So you can just steal the bow for yourself and there you go. Alternatively though, because I know probably a lot of you don't have any of the pickpocket perks, we can instead use method two. So for method two, we must have the bend wheel shout with at least two words of power that you've already learned. And you'll learn all the words for this shout very early on during the Dragonborn DLC main quest line. So once you have learned two words from the Ben Will shout, you will then be able to make people do your bidding. Wahahaha! <laughs> so next guys, we just need to reverse pickpocket Phalus and place a crappy iron dagger in his pocket. You can give him any close combat weapon you like. I just suggest using a dagger because it's light and it's not valuable to you. And the lighter a weapon it is, the easier it is to give to someone using the pickpocketing skill. And now guys, for the third step, stand really close to him and then hit him with your weapon. He will then obviously attack you back, but he will actually draw out the iron dagger because he's really close to you. And this means he'll unequip his unique bow. So next, we need to use the bend wheel shout on him. And then we're just going to holster our weapon and Phalus will become non-hostile. And now guys, we can once again trade with him and we can buy the glass bow of the Stag Prince. And it only cost around a thousand gold. And that's actually incredibly cheap for an enchanted glass bow. 
So just go ahead and buy it. And now let me explain to you how this unique weapon actually works because it has a rather strange enchantment on it that is completely unique. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button because I've got tons more daily Skyrim unique weapon guides coming out every day on the channel. So the enchantment states that the wielder receives an increasingly powerful blessing for every 20 animals killed by the bow. And then it tells us however many animals you've killed so far. So the bow initially starts off with a rather weak enchantment. It only gives you an extra five stamina and five points of extra health as well. But this is in itself rather interesting because it's the only weapon in the game that gives you a stamina and health boost. So it's actually very valuable for low level or mid level players. But currently the bow starts on zero animals killed. But unlike Phalus, I am an absolute savage. So we are going to head straight over to the outskirts of White Run, which is an excellent hunting ground. And we're going to kill all the animals we see there. Because my friends, every 20 animals you kill will increase the power of the bow's enchantment by 5 points each. So eventually, after slaughtering all of the wildlife in Skyrim, your bow's enchantment will max out at plus 25 health and plus 25 stamina which is pretty damn good for any archer who wants to be survivable. And you can still get those same enchantments on your armor as well. So you can have even more health and even more stamina than you would normally be able to get. And guys, just so you know, an animal in Skyrim counts as anything you would normally consider an animal. So like a mud crab, a rabbit, a saber cat, and then also things like spiders count as animals as well. So if you're just using this weapon in general, you'll find that you quite quickly rack up the animal kills with it. But that's not all guys. So let's take a closer look at this weapon itself, because it starts off with a base damage of 16, which we can actually improve in a moment. It also has a firing speed of 0.65 arrows per second. This is actually really, really good guys, because it gives you a higher damage per second than a Daedric bow. But now my friends, if you take this unique bow over to a grindstone and also grab yourself some Mouchlight, in addition to the glass smithing perk in the smithing skill tree, which we need to improve the glass weapons, you'll actually be able to double the improvements now made on the bow. Also guys, I'll be using some fortify smithing gear in order to do ridiculous damage with this weapon. And if you want to know how to do that to get the same crazy damage that I'm doing, make sure you smash that subscribe button and then check out the guide in the description to learn how to do it for yourself. It's rather useful for legendary difficulty. And now you've upgraded your unique, really hard to find bow of the Stag Prince. You may also want to know its backstory, because this weapon is an unofficial Daedric artifact. So the Stag Prince may in fact refer to the Daedric Prince Hercene, the god of the hunt. Now the reason I believe this is because Hercene is often depicted as a man wearing a stag skull over his head, and he's often referred to as the Huntsman of the Princes as his title. He also often uses a bow to hunt. So of course, the bow of the Stag Prince must somehow relate to him. There's also the fact that we find the bow here in Solfire, where the Blood Moon actually occurs. And for those of you that don't know, the Blood Moon is an ancient philosophy about the hunt led by the Daedric Lord Hercene himself. So even as a collector's item, it's a pretty cool weapon. And guys, if you haven't already, please do smash that subscribe button so you never miss my daily Skyrim guides. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram because I always post my guides in there as well so you'll get regular updates as soon as I release a new one. Also, if you want to support the channel, do not forget to like the video as well. And thank you so much for all of your support over the last few months because I really appreciate it guys. But you've been watching me, ESO, and I will see you, little subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. Have a fantastic day and goodbye. Don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video. Underneath the video just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it. You will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad guys.